Okay, we're back with Dark Souls 2, guys. Now, as you can see, I am once again a hollow. And the reason for that is, like I said, I tried um, helping out people online. But I my summoning keeps failing. And I don't know why it's doing that. Basically, I put down my summon sign and after like, I don't know, like 30 seconds, it disappears and says that I've been timed out from the server. So I don't really know what's going on here. But yeah, all that happened is I ended up getting my ass killed. Whatever. I still have all my souls and against my better judgment, I'm gonna have a look around here. I really should go back to Majula and just use up all these souls. Anyways, if I die, the bonfire is right upstairs. So we've picked up the large club and the chime. Nothing that's really useful for us. Oh, here's uh, one of these. Um, thing for Pharisee's Lockstone. People have told me in the comments uh, back when I got the Chloranthi Ring and the Titanite Shard that I should be careful using these Pharisee's Lockstones. And what they probably mean is that all of them give you rewards, but some of the rewards are better than others. I mean, the Titanite Slab and Chloranthi Ring were just excellent. So I'm a bit reluctant to use this, but why not? We'll see what this does. Alright. I wonder if you can still break this thing without using the Lockstone. Belfry Luna. Okay, you know what? This is a new area. So, yeah, this is not like treasure or anything. So, now we're really going to get back to um, Majula and level up. Because 34,000 souls is not something I want to lose. I really don't know what I should upgrade. I guess I'm going to put a few more points into adaptability. And pff, don't really know. I guess we'll go with a bit of uh, strength to increase the scaling of the halberd and things like that. I do have... you know what? I might also upgrade my shield a little bit. What am I doing? I still think you can level up at bonfires, but you cannot. Alright. Hurry up. There we go. Level up. So let's see, I'll bring this up to 15. And stamina, I guess we'll put two points into this and strength. We'll save the 7,000 souls for upgrading my shield. This is a really good shield. I like it. Um, so far, probably the best one I've found yet. The best one that kind of like fits into my like weight category and things like that. So we are going to... No, not this. We are going to reinforce this old thing. I should have enough. Oh, no, I don't. So I need... If I buy all of them, I can get the shield up to plus three. I don't know. This might be a complete waste. Whatever. And from here on out, we need large titanite shards. Alright, Belfry Luna, let's see what this area has to offer. So is this like a secret area? I'm guessing it is. It's probably optional from what I can gather, which I think this is the servants quarters. And after that, like I promised, I am going to explore the rest of the bestial from the other bonfire where we arrived by ship. But yeah, the boss is dead, so we really don't have too much to worry about. Good old homeward. That's I think was a mir that was I think a miracle that I never ever used. The problem with homeward, any of these miracles, kind of seek guidance and things like that, is they take up an attunement slot versus just having it as an item. Whoa! Shit! 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 Okay, 
Luckily, yeah, that probably wasn't the best thing I've ever done. Okay. Hello. Oh shit. Okay. Stay back all your pieces. <laughs> okay, this guy is insane. I wish we could play as this guy. We could create a character like this. Classic uh, rhyming character. There's one in every fantasy RPG. Okay. Okay, just gonna keep. Oh. Do I wish to guard the bell? Join the bellkeeper's covenant. Fuck it, let's go. I don't have a covenant yet. This gives us an achievement. And a nice little symbol. I'm liking it. Alright. Yeah, so this is... A, I guess this is a bit like the Forest Hunters. I like this NPC. Okay. So who was the princess? Okay, stop laughing. Stop laughing. Holy shit, this guy is insane. You have a lot of dead friends. I guess these guys are like dolls or something. Let's go upstairs. I'm liking the sound of this covenant. I like the Forest Hunters covenant in the first game if the area wasn't so broken. Hey, a black phantom. Hmm, well done me. Didn't see there was that there was a hole there. So do we have to fight these guys? I don't really know. Let's check out that ring. Bellkeeper seal. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the bellkeeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who could never be united. The bellkeepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love, that is their curse. Really interesting. So if I attack this guy, it's not gonna like kick me out of the covenant, is it? Well, Holy shit. Let's recover a bit of stamina. Um, This is a black phantom. But I didn't expect him to be this powerful. Oh, well, maybe not. Just seemed intimidating. Because they deal a lot of damage. You're dead. We have... Rusted coin. So, from what I can gather... Skeptic Spice. The rusted coin... You use it and it gives you like increased drop rate or something like that. That's what I heard it does. So if I ever need to farm for anything, I'm gonna utilize one of those. I have like, okay, that was like <laughs> kind of weird. The firebomb like stopped in midair. If I can just kill one. Oh shit. Would have been better if I didn't get clipped by the other one, but what can you do? Okay, we're gonna heal up. Okay. Looks like a boss fog, but it's not accessible to me yet. There's still this ladder up here. I find this, find this animation to be quite funny. Ah, shit. Could there be more of these guys? Shouldn't have done that. In this game, of course, our attack animations can get, or any of our animations can get interrupted if we're not careful. Okay, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to kill these guys. One down, two to go. The only thing that's really, hel really helping is that they have no poise. 
or I can poise break them really easily. Okay, you're the last one. I'm guessing we're supposed to do this, even if we're in the Covenant. But I'm guessing that this is kind of like a secret. So hopefully, if I do decide to do PvP, there will actually be players here. Because I have a fear like that. Everyone's gonna come here and join the Covenant. And, and that's not gonna be too much fun. That second attack with the halberd, you really have to watch out for because it hits the walls so easily. Yeah, this one. I didn't even uh, like register what I picked up in that chest. I think it was a uh, radiant life gem or something. Let's go down. Maybe this thing is open now? It's not. So, this begs the question, what the hell did I do? Um... Let's see if I pull it again. Maybe it is timed or something. Oh no. Well, that didn't kill me. But weird. Maybe this is... Maybe because I'm in the Covenant, I cannot access this. Oh wait. Yes, I can. Oh shit, why do I have a feeling that this is gonna kill me? Belfry Gargoyle, no way! And it's playing the Dark Souls 1 boss theme, no way! Oh, this is so awesome. Oh no, this is not so awesome. Because these guys are really strong. Okay, maybe not, but with one Estus Flask... It's doubtful <coughs> that I'm gonna make it. <coughs> Especially if I have something stuck in my throat. Okay, wait, maybe we can pull this off, because it seems like... Maybe these guys work like the four kings. That they... There's gonna be more than two. It seems like that guy is gonna die soon. Okay, I know the patterns of these guys. Except that flying attack, that's new. Okay, there's three now. This is definitely not fun. Oh no, well, actually it's really fun. I'm just joking here. Where is the one that's nearly dead? There you are. That's one down. Only like seven more to go if I can actually pull this off that would be pretty amazing hmm that's not how you pull it off Should probably switch to my life gems looks like I'm gonna have opportunities to heal if things get really tough upgrading my shield might have been a smart move that probably wasn't a smart move have to ah uh, crap this might take the rest of the fucking episode ah uh, shit no oh going for a combo no 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 god damn it if I can just get to that guy and kill him Somehow. Yes. Not in any better shape, because... Damn. Okay. Good, good. This is actually going pretty well, surprisingly. They don't do too much damage, which might be my one saving grace. But if I ever get... Or if I do die... I can get up here with more SS flasks. Even though I pretty much would have spent all of them by now. Which one do I wanna... This one's... It's the least HP. It's really not good when there's three of them around. It looks like these guys are on a timer too. 
Oh shit. I almost feel like... Mm, I died. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Holy shit, this is difficult. Alright. I'm probably a little bit underleveled maybe for this area. But what I was gonna say is maybe it's not so bad that I died because I really don't want to waste all of my um, life gems on this one area. How many souls did I have there? Actually, not that many. Okay, that didn't, wor didn't work out so well. Let's explore the Tower of Bastion or, or what is this place called again? Lost Bastion. Shit, can't even remember the name, the name of the area. Okay, so probably once I'm a little bit stronger, I can come back here. Because I definitely could have had these guys. The problem was that I'm, I wasn't killing them fast enough. And they were kind of overwhelming me. But, let's explore this place. Um, I haven't been here, obviously. This is the other way into the tower. There's a boss. F oh, that is the... Oh, no, wait, that's not the... For a second I thought that was the bell tower, but it's not. Okay. This is such a cool area. Holy shit. Really impressed with the... Oh, hey there. Oh, this guy's gonna kill my ass. Or maybe not. He has a spear. So these guys are basically like the Black Knights of Dark Souls 2. Nice combo there, buddy. How about getting skewered? You know what? I really don't want to lose this weapon like I did with the first one, so I'm gonna... Skewer him again. That worked out. Even though I wasted the life gem, we get hide the spear. Or hate spear? I don't know. I'm gonna say hide. And this is a spear origina originating in hide. A special alloy makes it very durable. The composition of the alloy of these spears remains a mystery, but in Drain Lake, the attempt to imitate it resulted in similar braid and steel. Oh yeah, I don't have enough dexterity to use it. So it's a spear, essentially. Yeah, it's a spear. All the spear moves. Um, nothing special, honestly, I think. I actually like halberd class weapons a lot better than the spears. Because obviously you have more of a vari variety in moves with the halberd. But yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm probably never going to get to 25 dexterity, so I'm not going to check this weapon out. Oh well, maybe on a subsequent playthrough we'll get to it. These dogs are pretty irritating. Hey, where are you? Oh shit. Oh, just one of these guys? I was worried for a second. I always forget that these guys are really easy. I like that I have a symbol up on the corner now. I belong to a covenant. It really feels satisfying. Try attacking. Okay. Oops, not that. Looks like we can break all of these. Yeah, I saw that there was something behind there. Probably could have guessed it was an enemy. Heal up. Not sure if this is the way we're supposed to go. But we have this door. Hey, it opens. To reveal dogs. Shit. You really have to be careful. I've activated the kind of like shield um, or behind the shield attack of this halberd quite a few times now by accident. So we have to be careful. It looks like you need to drop your shield before attacking. Gotta be mindful of that. Okay, wait. We can attack this. To reveal some treasure. Hey, that's not treasure. These are enemies. A new type of enemy. That deals pretty good damage. But dies quickly. 
Oh, don't tell me I cannot get that, because it's up there. Hmm, wait a second. How the hell are we going to get in there? Really don't know. Well, might as well have a look in here. What's up, guys? Or just guy, maybe? No, it's guys. Oh, don't tell me there's no way up there. Shit, this is not good. We can also have a look over here. Where this leads. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, don't tell me I... Shit. We're gonna have to lure them out. This is the main disadvantage of the halberd. It hits the ceiling of certain buildings. What the hell kind of attack is that? These guys like explode. Weird. I've already like spent most of my asses. Shit. Flame butterfly. What the hell is that? Looks interesting. Bottle filled with dried red butterflies. Creates a small flame allowing torches to be lit on the go. Oh, okay. I probably don't need a torch right now. So far I haven't found like a place where you really, really need a torch, like absolutely. I can always light it here, but you know. I'm gonna try if I can jump on here. Hmm. This is probably not... Oh, wait, wait. Shit, I nearly had it. This is probably not how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so we get on there. Crap, if I can get like a little running start. You know what? Fuck it. Really, how important could that treasure be? Probably pretty important <laughs> if it's like that difficult to get to. I'm surprised that guy still managed to hit me. We have... Green Blossom and a soul. Let's see if I can finally... Yeah, jumping attacks or plunging attacks. Fuck. That's a good thing it didn't kill me. I got lucky. Arch Drake Robes. I'll check this out later. I think that's the mage set, isn't it? I don't know. Cannot get up there. Oh, another... Oh, shit! Let's cure this guy. What the hell? <laughs> Something... Oh, it is, it's his sword that, like, flew off. Okay, I'm gonna backstab him, too. So, another Ferris's Lockstone. I don't have another one. Yeah. Interesting, still. There are quite a few of them around. What is this? Oh, just a blood stain. I thought you could do something with that pot there. All right, we have bone staff, and we can climb this elevator. But we have this chest too. I'm just trying to uh, twin blade. Interesting. Trying to watch out for traps. That's why I'm looking out for these chests and the parrying dagger. Interesting. We picked a bu bunch of shit. Bone staff. It's a catalyst. Twin blade. Way too much dexterity needed. Yep, this is the Dartmoor sword. I saw it on the... I think one of the loading screens. So, wow. This is a really cool looking moveset. But I'm never ever gonna get 26 dexterity on this character. Um, yeah, maybe some other time. And we have, yeah, this is the mage set, the arch trig. Mm, looks kind of cool, but it doesn't fit with my character. I like how I look right now. Alright, we're gonna check out this ladder here, and I'm gonna end the episode soon, because we're already like 20, 25 minutes in. This is like way too empty of a corridor. 
Um, is this where I think it is? Yes, it is. Okay, I know where this is. Uh, we could actually get back to the bonfire here, but that would basically cut us off because we have no way of going back. But yeah, I kind of have a general idea of how this place is laid out. Um, I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. This was, I think, a successful episode. We joined the Covenant. Looks like a pretty cool Covenant too. And yeah, what I'm probably going to have to do is if I explore more of this place, probably like that way we can get this door open and have like a... Oh, that <laughs> I thought that was an enemy. We could get like that gate open and have a shortcut back to that bonfire. But yeah, that's where we're heading in the next episode. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.